what is good everyone today i'm going to be sharing my 38 week pregnancy update literally at the final stretch of this journey that just sounds so so crazy i feel like this whole pregnancy i keep saying this i feel every update it just flew by it literally flew by for me can see the light at the end of the tunnel and it's kind of scary to be honest i'm kind of like low-key freaking out because i know that all of our lives literally the kids my husband my life it's all about to change but we are all super 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 excited about the change we're all definitely looking forward to it the last couple of weeks have been kind of hectic it's been interesting a very interesting one for sure i did do a 35 week i want to say update it was basically a couple days from being 36 weeks and i did mention in that video that i had a appointment the following week which that actually never happened because my family and i got put in quarantine we weren't expecting it um over here the covid policy is a little bit strict when it comes to being a close contact which ended up happening uh, my husband ended up being a close contact that obviously made us my kids and i close contacts with him so we all just kind of had to buckle down in quarantine for the last two weeks this is our last week now i'm hoping everything goes well he did already test negative on his first covid test and then they are doing an exiting rom test on him which he already got done and then i actually got a covid test done today they came over to the house and uh, swabbed me because it is more of a pre-screening for pregnant women to be able to deliver at the mic on base with that they knew my situation being under quarantine this late in the game of my pregnancy like i said i had an appointment at like 37 weeks and like two days and i had to cancel that because it looked like we were doing the full 14 day quarantine but they were like no big deal we can bring someone to you to get your covid test done because that had to be done as well last week which didn't get done they came today got that done my first covid test my husband was like downplaying and saying it was like no big deal and when he got it done he said the second one hurt more than the first one that he got done but when they came and they did me this morning i felt it it was like all the way up my nose they stuck the q-tip up my nose it was like all the way up here it messed with my sinuses my eyes were watering and i was like whoa like that was not fun it was very uncomfortable it sucked super uncomfortable you know you just got to do what you got to do you deal with it for those like few seconds it's over it's done with and that's that i should be getting that within a few days or so we should be hopefully exiting rom here in a couple days or so just waiting on my husband's test to come back when his tests do come back and they're negative then we can all get back to our normal lives the kids get to go back to school i actually have a doctor's appointment the morning that we get out of this quarantine to go get my gbs like swab done and you know get checked up because i haven't been in the past two weeks of course jesse gets to go back to work so we're just waiting we haven't killed each other yet all joke aside staying home for two weeks wasn't even that bad it literally made me sit home relax which was kind of nice because that's one thing that i feel like i don't do and i am always like out about and i'm always like running errands i'm always doing this with the kids and that and you know we're all of us as a family we're on the go we get we do things on the weekends but it literally made us buckle down and actually just chill meanwhile while we're under quarantine the kids are obviously quarantined so they're not able to go to school we've been doing online schooling with them i can't really complain about that i'm just happy that they're not going to be behind when they go back to school like i said in the last pregnancy update video i had so much to do i had a lot of organizing to do downstairs and figuring out where things were going to go i had to uh, organize the uh, closet the little storage room in the living room down here finish up organizing the kitchen which i finally got done i was actually keeping a really big stash of baby stuff in the kitchen in front of our plants and jesse was so ready to get rid of everything we're able to get all of that together and put upstairs so i can go ahead and organize that where i need that got baby laundry done this weekend this quarantine pretty much forced me to do it which has been a blessing in disguise nesting mode has low-key finally hit i feel like it hasn't been as intense as it was 
was with my daughter and my son. I feel like I really hit nesting mode and was really in it because I remember cleaning like the blinds and clean, like just doing things I naturally usually wouldn't do when I'm like deep cleaning. But this time around, I did get a lot of uh, the cleaning that I needed to get done and the organizing especially that I needed to get done. But it took a quarantine to make me buckle down and get it done. It wasn't really too enthused to do it on my own. I'm feeling much more accomplished, a lot less stressed out than I was. And the fact that Jesse's home and he can help me like move things around and get things upstairs that's like super heavy that I can't do myself has definitely helped a lot. He's definitely been a big help around the house when it comes to organizing and helping me clean. Been trying to be very chill and just not trying to go into labor. That was my thing. I was like, I do not want to go into labor while in quarantine because that's like the last thing I need to worry about is just going into labor in quarantine because I turned 37 weeks while we we're in quarantine which makes me full term a lot of listening to my body when I'm doing too much during the day I think that's pretty much everything that I can think of as far as a quarantine update goes because I haven't really talked about it I mean close friends families like pretty much know about it but I haven't really mentioned it on my Instagram because it's, it's just like I don't know for people that aren't military friends and that aren't military that do not live here they might not understand the whole quarantine situation so I figured let me just explain it in a vlog and go ahead and give the whole update on there so I'm not having to like repeat myself on Facebook Instagram here you know I'm just gonna throw it all on here if you watch it you see it good if not it's okay that's fine too luckily we haven't had any COVID symptoms we've been feeling really good all the kids kids and I and Jesse like all of us have been fine so I'm just hoping that the tests come back negative and we can go about our lives get this process with baby going because that is the next thing that is going to be happening in our lives is uh, figuring out when and how soon baby's gonna come so as far as the pregnancy goes and how everything has been going lately I feel good I have had Braxton Hicks and I feel like they've been coming on a little bit stronger lately I haven't timed them but they haven't been very regular either so I have been definitely feeling them a lot more especially when I'm like up and doing things so I've been doing a lot of resting like I mentioned have been really really achy very achy oh my gosh um, my legs are starting to not like die out but every time I sit down and then I get back up I have to obviously get up really slow I just feel like I have a lot of pressure and a lot of weight on my legs this one being my third one I knew I was probably gonna get a little bit more weight and I have I can feel the weight in my in my legs in my hips in my knees like I can totally in my feet like I could totally feel the weight that has been a struggle just kind of like slowly getting around I just know I feel super pregnant baby's still really active cravings haven't been much of a concern we've just been like eating the same things the past couple weeks cooking from home but I did have a synagogue craving which I got my fix my neighbor she went out and bought us some groceries to grab stuff for synagogue so that was so so nice of of her and actually a few people came out and helped us while we have been in quarantine just grabbing like groceries here and there asking us if we need anything which has been super helpful I, I want to say maybe the only thing that I've been craving to the point to where I needed it ice cream sandwiches for some reason I haven't had ice cream sandwiches in a long time and I've been wanting ice cream sandwiches they've been so good honestly and there's like one more in the freezer and nobody knows about it because I hit it and I think I'm gonna eat it tonight I'm keeping that one to myself <laughs> I'm probably gonna eat it in peace while no one's around and no one's watching because I'm not giving out no bites. I feel like I'm super low energy lately. I've just been in like a funk. I don't know if it's because we've been home for two weeks and we haven't really been doing anything. So I've just been like laying low, just napping and just getting my body ready, preparing, resting. I have just no motivation. If I'm not doing things that I need to get done, I'm li literally just laying around. Like today, I actually put makeup on and did my hair. And this is the first time I've done it in almost two weeks. It's been nice to put makeup on, but I'm already ready to like rip it off and just wash my face and throw something more comfortable on. <laughs> I've yet to pack my hospital bag. I feel like I should be doing that soon. I need to start getting it together, honestly. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna probably possibly just 
do like a daily vlog and then just pack that it really needs to get done i'm 38 weeks and i have yet to do that the kids are getting super super excited about it they cannot wait for the baby to come when i turned 37 weeks it was so cute on my she keeps track every wednesday she knows that i go up a week and she was like so you're 37 weeks now so does that mean that you can have the baby anytime and i was like yes that means i can have the baby anytime but i'm not trying to have it anytime right now because we're in quarantine and that's the last thing i need right now is to uh deliver while we're stuck in the house you know which if that happened i already talked to the mick and they said that they would be able to you know take me in as long as i'm 37 weeks i don't know if i mentioned this or not but during our tour they did mention that they had a covid room if moms were under quarantine or if moms were like you know covid positive that we're delivering they do have like a space a quarantine room for that so that was definitely good to know never thought i'd be in a situation where i might need it but here we are and so thankfully they have thought of that and gotten that like taken care of but we do just have a couple more days in quarantine so by the time this video comes out we'll be out of quarantine but just knowing that all possible situations were thought of and that they had it covered at the clinic was definitely reassuring because like i said we weren't expecting to be stuck but here we are you know life works in the craziest ways 2021 has definitely brought us some, you know, interesting moments already and it's not even the end of January. Well, it is the end of January, but the first month isn't even over. <laughs> At this point, it is what it is. Oh, actually this quarantine also made Jesse and I sit down and focus on a name. We think we have a name for both genders. I definitely love them both. They were actually his picks. The names that I was thinking of, he either did not like at all or I didn't really love at all. Like it was just a name I wrote down because it was there, but it wasn't something I absolutely love, 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 loved. He had a couple picks that I know for the boy's name, he's had this pick for a long time now. He wasn't budging and it's been a pick for as long as we even thought of names and he hasn't budged yet. So I was like, you know what, if you feel like this is the name that you want for a boy then i'm down i like the name as well he came up with a middle name for that name it, it's the most fullness i felt with a baby boy name so i was like i i like that one i think we're gonna stick with that one of course it could change so i'm not gonna mention the names yet because we're not 100 percent sure if we're going to even use these names but we wanted to at least have a first and a middle name for both genders and then we're gonna kind of sit on it and see how it feels, see if the baby fits the name and um, go from there. And then for a girl's name, it was definitely a name that I would have never thought of. I honestly never thought he would ever think of a name like that, but I love it. I love the name for a girl, I'm excited. And then I chose the middle name, but I was like, no. I've been wanting this middle name for this baby, if it's a girl and I'm putting the middle name in, it sounds great with the first name and we're doing it. He's like, okay, fine. But at least we have something because I was kind of getting anxious to the point to where I was like, we have no first name, we have no middle name, we have nothing for either genders and I'm getting kind of freaked out because I like had both my kids' first and middle names figured out way before 30 weeks um pregnant with both of them and this one i'm literally at the end of my third trimester with no idea still and i had a feeling like when i got to the hospital i didn't want to just pick a name because i was under pressure so i kind of wanted to be somewhat prepared at least have somewhat of an idea of what we're going to name this kid i'm just kind of relieved we both agreed on two names that we both really like. I think that's everything I wanted to mention. I know it's been kind of all over the place, but um, that's what it is. That's what's been going on in our lives as of the last two weeks. And I'll go ahead and show you guys a little bump peek and show you what 38 weeks looks like for me. I feel like you could totally see that the baby has dropped a little bit. I'm not always out of breath now. I can totally breathe a little bit. Um, I do get an occasional jab in the ribs still. There is a lot of 
a lot of baby in there. I'm really curious in seeing how much this baby's gonna weigh because I feel like it's definitely gonna weigh more than Kaden. Kaden weighed more than Amaya. Kaden was seven pounds, nine ounces. So I wouldn't be surprised if I'm pushing towards an eight pound baby. Maybe next update will happen maybe it won't i am definitely going to just try and keep you guys as updated as possible i definitely want to vlog as much of my labor delivery situation as much as i can we'll see what happens from there what's up guys i just wanted to come on here and end the video this way i ended up going to my 38 week appointment we yes we are out of quarantine we've gotten out for i don't know it's been like four three four days now which has been so refreshing it's been so nice being able to grab my own groceries and whatnot <laughs> but yeah so the morning that we did get out of quarantine i had a doctor's appointment i was able to get my gbs swab done which is finally checked off the list i also asked the doctor if i could get checked to see if I'm dilated any. I'm already a centimeter dilated and that was like three days ago and my cervix has already started to soften up. I was like okay that's great news. Being one centimeter dilated doesn't really mean much. A lot of women can be one centimeter for the longest time and nothing will budge but it's good to know that we're finally getting somewhere. Something's happening down there for sure because I have also been feeling a lot of um, Braxton Hicks. It has been pretty consistent from like the morning all the way into the evening time. They're just not close together. I wanna say, if I had to guesstimate, they are probably about 10 to 15 minutes apart. I know it's not enough or not close enough for me to start timing them, so I kinda just write it out. The other night I was kinda struggling cause they were just very uncomfortable. I had Jesse kinda like rub my back and then put pressure on my hips and that definitely helped ease some pain and I was able to fall asleep like that because I've just um, been super restless. I know my body's tired. I know I'm exhausted, but my body doesn't want to rest at the same time. So I feel like I'll be very surprised if I make it to my next appointment. <laughs> oh, and then the doctor was super like adamant and like emphasized like, if you are going into labor, just go straight to the MIG. Do not wait for this appointment, the next appointment, obviously. Call them up, let them know that you're on your way and they will be expecting you. And obviously if your water breaks, go. I'm just kind of been very much so alert. I always feel all of the pressure and all the contractions definitely in the front of my belly but lately i have been feeling a lot of pressure in the back in my lower back area as well as the front the lower back is definitely starting to feel super achy so i'm guessing that is part of back labor I, i'm i have no idea but definitely have been feeling some type of way about that because it hurts you know what i'm saying <laughs> usually i can sleep through the night and not feel any contractions or the Braxton Hicks have like subsided. But this weekend, I have been feeling the contractions in my sleep. It's just let me know that baby's preparing itself. So I just need to start preparing myself. I um, was able to go to the store and grab some necessities that I need so I can start packing my, packing my bag. We'll see what happens. I know my next appointment is next Friday. It'll be like five days from now. By then I'll be 39 weeks in two days. And I did mention to the doctor if they do like membrane sweeps here. And um, that is actually what I did with both of my kids around, I don't know, I think I was almost like towards the end of my 38 week because I had both my kids at 39 and one day and um, 39 and two days. I'm pretty sure that's what definitely kick-started the labor for sure. That's a whole like anticipation of the whole waiting game when it comes to labor and delivery because you just don't know when you're gonna give birth. You know, you know your body's going through the changes, you know that things are happening, but you just don't know when things are gonna start happening. It's just been kind of a lot of me getting anxious, a lot of me like thinking too much into everything and all the possible scenarios and still trying to take it easy at the same time because I don't want to go to labor just yet. I kind of wanna wait till my next appointment next Friday and see if I can get a sweep then. And if they are able to do that, then I'm definitely probably gonna have the baby before I turn 40 weeks. That's if I haven't gotten into labor yet. But I wanted to include that little update since I did go to the doctor's a couple days after I made this video, the prior video that you just seen. I figured, let me just go ahead, sneak this, since it is a 38 week update, let me just like, 
fit all of it into one. It's just kind of just a mini super quick update of what's been going on. If I did wait and tell you guys about this update, I probably would have already gone into labor and not, it would have been pointless to like even mention. I just wanted to quickly go in there, let you guys know what's up, what's good, and fill you guys in in kind of real time because I'm trying to get this video up as soon as possible. It's just now at this point a waiting game. So we will see what happens and I will definitely be keeping you guys updated as much as possible. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, that'll probably be a better way to keep track of what's going on in real time. I, I usually post on my uh, stories quite often. Probably post on there when things start to go down. So I guess that is everything for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. It's not a game, it's a red stick.